Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh guys welcome back to my channel today I have Sony PS2 PlayStation power supply it is AC adapter 8.5 volt and it is SCPH 70100 now I will apply power and we will check the output voltage DC voltage and we don't have any power supply let's check it so we have 230 volt but in the output no voltage let's open it Now it is opened, carefully remove it and we are going to open it, never touch to any component, sometime the capacitor is holding charge. First of all, we will check the DC voltage on the DC capacitor for safety. So here are no voltage. Now we will connect power and we will check DC voltage here. We don't have voltage here on the capacitor. So there are no DC voltage on the capacitor, that means there is something wrong. We will check AC voltage, we have 230 volt here and at DC capacitor we have no DC voltage here and the capacitor. We have AC voltage here but DC voltage so that means our input circuit have problem. If we check this point, we have sparking here at this point. So let's check it what is the problem. So we have to make resoldering to this point and then we will trace where is the problem. This is our input terminal we have to check continuity this side ok this side is ok from this point we have this NTC set multimeter to resistance and we have 3.2 ohm resistance that's ok so our this line will start from here NTC and then it is going to this filter so this point to AC input terminal and from this side this point to AC input terminal. So our both points are open. So we have problem in this inductor I think from this point to this point this inductor is not giving continuity and here we have fuse fuse is good but from this point to this point and this point to this point we don't have continuity here we have line from line to fuse this fuse is good then fuse here we have class X capacitor then it is reaching here and after that we have this inductor dual line filter and from here we have NTC from NTC to inductor OK the inductor second side it is not giving continuity so our this inductor have open circuit we have to check this 
first we will confirm the bridge rectifier cut side at cut side the positive output side connect black lead set multimeter to diode mode and check between one AC input terminal the second AC input terminal so it is ok now swap the leads it should open that's good now move black lead to this terminal the last one negative terminal it is open now place red lead at negative output terminal the leftmost here it's ok so bridge rectifier is ok our problem is here our this inductor is not passing the current we can check continuity of the inductor there is no continuity because it is just only piece of wire on ferret core so it should give a continuity here is inductor so this is DC capacitor oh wonderful it is totally free might be it is one wire connected or no so let's desolder it So this inductor wonderful it was just only connected with one wire other three wires were disconnected because it is just only connected with wires it is not having any mounting or anything so we have to connect it we have an option we can remove one turn but if we will remove one turn from both sides to extend the wires it will cause to reduce the inductor value so it will make problem in the filter so we cannot do this so we have to make some extension with this wire we will make soldering some piece of conductor wire now I connected two extensions of a conductor wire I am using the lead of this resistor so that it will make a good connection so it will help us to connect the inductor in the PCB so now inductor is ready set multimeter to continuity this is good this is good So this is one side and it is second side. So it will connect it connected here in this way. Now I fitted it in the PCB. Now I will make soldering. To make it easy, I removed this class X capacitor so that we can install this inductor easily now I will make soldering because there was no approach to install this inductor now we will inspect it so that the both line and neutral filters should be separate now I install back the capacitor and inductor now we can check it first of all set multimeter to continuity because we corrected the inductor if by mistake if we rotate this inductor one step clockwise or counterclockwise it will make a big problem so we will check between input terminals 
इट शुड नॉट मेक अ शॉर्ट सर्किट आउटपुट टर्मिनल्स इट्स ओके दिस इज अ गुड कंडीशन नाउ पुट वन लीड इन वन साइड ऑफ द इंडक्टर एंड सेकेंड टू द सेकेंड साइड इंडक्टर दैट्स गुड दैट्स गुड बिफोर दिस बिफोर रिपेयरिंग दिस इंडक्टर देर वॉज नो कंटिन्यूटी नाउ कनेक्ट वन लीड टेस्ट लीड टू द ए सी इनपुट टर्मिनल ऑफ द ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर एंड कनेक्ट टू इनपुट टर्मिनल दैट्स गुड इट्स गिविंग थ्री ओम रजिस्टेंस दैट मीन्स फ्राम दिस पॉइंट इंडक्टर हेयर वी हैव एन टी सी सो इट इज गुड सेकेंड साइड ऑफ द ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर दैट इज ए सी इनपुट टर्मिनल इट इज गिविंग जीरो ओम बिकॉज इंडक्टर एंड फ्यूज सो इट इज गुड नाउ वी विल अप्लाई पावर I am applying power through a series lamp set multimeter to AC voltage AC voltage input voltage okay check voltage AC voltage at bridge input terminal that's good check voltage DC voltage in the output of bridge rectifier that's good check voltage at main DC capacitor that is here in the start these voltage were missing but now we have this voltage now we can check the output we have output 8.7 volt so this power supply is 8.5 volt that's good without load 8.7 volt that's good 8.7 volt now our power supply has been repaired if this video is good informative for you hit the like button if you have any comment any suggestion any question Please write in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.